Chapter 3 Number 007 Thanks, Bill. I'll be next door. We knew we cooked ourselves with that last bit. He called it subversion and blackmail. Anyway, he approves. Says it's crazy but worth trying if the treasury will play. And he thinks they will. He's got the right man and wants to try him out on the job. Who is it? One of the double O's. I guess 007. He's tough and M thinks there may be trouble with the chief's gunman. He must be pretty good with cards, or he wouldn't have sat in the casino in Monte Carlo for two months before the war, watching that Romanian team work their stuff with the invisible ink and dark glasses. He and the Dozy emboldened them in the end, and 007 turned in a million francs he had won at Shemi. Good money in those days. What about it, Bond? It's very kind of you, sir. I'd like to do it, but I can't promise to win. I might get a bad run against me and get cleaned out. Play's going to be pretty high. Opening should go up to half a million, I should think. He can have a bad run too. You have plenty of capital. Go over a few days before the big game starts and get your hand in. Have a talk with Q about rooms and trains and any equipment. I'll try to persuade the Duzium to send Mathis. Anything else? I'd certainly like to have Mathis, sir. Try and pull it off. We're going to look pretty foolish if you don't. And watch out. This sounds like an amusing job, but I don't think it's going to be. The chief is a good man. Well, best of luck. Thank you, sir. Just a minute. I think I'll keep you covered, Bond. Two heads are better than one. They'll get in touch with you at Royale. You needn't worry. It'll be someone... good. <laughs>